Remember cage matches? <laughs> yeah, that was kind of... Yeah, I used to uh, wonder when I was a kid, why is it... What's the point of it? Like, yeah. Climbing up on top of it. One guy died at one of these. I forget which who it was. But, uh... There was a guy who died wrestling. Oh, uh, yeah? That was a cage match. I Was it? Well, no, I mean, like... You're... That's... You were going off from you were leading off from cage matches. No, I, I don't know exactly. I don't remember exactly if it was a cage match that killed him, but there was one guy who died. And that's real wrestling when you kill your opponent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no rules. Yes. Raw, as it were. Yeah, they used to call it raw. War is raw. You remember that? I uh, I remember raw. Yeah, raw, war is raw, and raw, and war, whatever. Attitude. The attitude era. Yeah, yeah. Just. That's another thing. It's. After the golden age of wrestling, I wouldn't be surprised. the attitude era started. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, if raw didn't mean anything. Yeah. It was just like a. like a tagline. That might have been the WCW doing that. I don't remember. There was a rival wrestling show, WCW. I think. Yeah, yeah. Can't remember exactly. Something like that. Anymore, I have but... No idea. Yeah. The Rock used to wear the absolute most gay outfit. <laughs> like I, I mean, like gay, like homosexual. Oh yeah. Like uh, he used to wrestle with like black uh, leather, tight leather pants. And a big belt buckle, mm -hmm. big silver belt buckle there. So your your eyes are drawn to his cock. Like it looked really gay. Like you'd look it up. It was kind of it was even gayer than wearing just this shit, like like underwear or whatever. Like it actually looked pretty gay. <sighs> that must hurt. <laughs> Getting thrown over that like that. Man, why is earthquake so cursed? I don't know. Like, I keep getting them, and I keep losing against them. If you tried to do that jumping thing where you landed on someone's body on a flat ground outside, you'd freaking kill them. It only yeah, works yeah. in wrestling because the floor is bouncy. Uh-huh. It absorbs so much of the shock. I remember uh, when I was little, uh, wrestling was, like, uh, in trouble over kids hurting themselves. You remember oh, that? Yeah. Kids used to try to mimic wrestling moves outside and not understanding that, like, they know how to do it in such a way that no one really gets hurt. They, kids don't understand that, and they try to mimic it. Like, uh. like someone that... I had a mandatory friend. You know, just a friend by geography. Stop. What the... Like, you know, when you're a baby, how your parents pair you up with other Look babies. Look at this, I'm stuck. Yeah. All right. Uh, like a... Go. You have friends of convenience when you're a kid. Yeah, yeah. And your parents just ship you together. Uh huh. You're friends now. Okay. And you don't even know this person. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> you're yeah. my you're my cousin or second cousin, or you live close to me. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I had one of these kids, and uh, he um he used to not be allowed to watch wrestling or Power Rangers, and he just loved it so much. And he's not allowed to watch it because you get so hyper <laughs> that you'd mimic these things and kill yourself. Uh huh. And he was he would just destroy himself outside <laughs> yeah. doing wrestling shit. And, yeah. and I got to watch it and he didn't. <laughs> because I I didn't seem to do anything dangerous to myself ever. I'm way too safe of a person. I used to not try anything. Mm -hmm. Like I would look at a bike and try to understand how the bike works for like weeks before you even try to get on it. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not a risk, I was never a risk taker mm -hmm. when I was a kid. I would always... You're an undertaker. No, yeah. I would uh, never take risks when I was a kid. I would. So it took me like I was like like, like 14 before I learned how to ride a bike. And I, I still don't know how to swim. Today, I don't know how to swim. Oh, and yeah. so on and so on. Because I just... I couldn't understand why you take the risk of learning to swim. I mean, you don't have to. You're a human. You can just walk around on the ground, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was my thinking. Like, uh -huh. why would I do this? It's more fun standing around inside, isn't it? 
Well, so I, I could just watch whatever I wanted on TV and drink as much pop as I wanted or sugar. It, it, it's it's actually the most fun uh, walking around on the on the sea floor. Oh, that's what the, that's the secret most fun way to uh, enjoy the ocean. I'd do that if I had scuba shit that I was confident in. Mm -hmm. I would put weights in my shoes or something and just stand there and look around. I'd well, do it if I was confident. More, that's a lot more risky, yeah. But if I was confident in the gear, I'd try it. And I could easily take my weighted boots off very quick and uh -huh. go to the top. I would try it. But. Well, what, what babies don't understand is that they, uh, you can't, like, if you're wearing anything that's even the slightest bit buoyant, you, you, you're not going to drown. Unless you try, like, by panicking, uh, <laughs> disastrously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so Survival Series is like a tag match with, like, eight players. Okay. I used to be this able to... This is how I wrestle. I used to be able to have as much juice as I wanted and much, as much anything, because I never got hyper. Oh, yeah. Ever. It's like drinking pop did nothing to me. Yeah. Like, it's just nothing. It's just no difference if I ate this or... And then there's other kids that just see sugar. Yeah. And they're just done. Uh-huh. <laughs> they're destroyed. It did nothing to me. I don't understand. I don't know. Yeah, some kids just like will just like uh run around, hit you with sticks and, and punch your dad in the balls and stuff like that. Because they had one grain of sugar. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. No. You gave him juice after six PM? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. You fed the gremlins. He's not going to be shit. able to go to sleep till four in the morning now. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm playing as a juggalo. Yeah. How the fuck do magnets work? I wish I knew how magnets work. How do they work? Won't someone tell me how magnets work? Yeah. Tell me. How magnets work. Ah. I'm just gonna keep kicking you in the balls until you tell me how that magnet works. <laughs> this is this is a uh, this is somebody's ten year old friend. <laughs> just like <laughs> Tell dad. me how they work. <laughs> Jake's dad won't tell me how magnets work, so I punched him in the balls. Fuck ass. Piss. 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 <laughs> Stop stringing together curse words that I, you know will get you in trouble. <laughs> so what if I spit on the on the N64 controller? Jeez, yeah, who uh, cares? So what if I dipped the whole controller into a bag of Cheetos and mixed it around <laughs> and gave it back? So what? I want to know how magnets work. So When I was little, I used to wash my hands before I played games with the controller. Oh, yeah. I do that now, sometimes. Well, uh... I find that when you're a little kid, your hands Gosh. are, like, more apt to be full of stuff. Yeah. So, I would just come off of eating something weird. And when you're a kid, you don't clean your... You don't necessarily clean your hands when you're eating. Sometimes I'll clean them as I'm eating now. Which How is do I... crazy. Uh -huh. But, uh... Yeah, I just found that you're more apt to just leave shit on your hands. And then you go to play, and, you, and then you think, oh, I should clean them. Right? And then you clean them before you play. There's gotta be a button to, like, pin somebody, but all of them stop. It's unbelievable. Like, now, my hands, uh... Ah, like, I'm just everything I eat is just with a fork now. Hulk Hogan when he's when he's cheering, he just looks like tree beard. Yeah, he's like, Whoa. <laughs> he looks like uh, the Deku tree. Yeah, when he's old, he will be. He'll turn into the Deku tree. <laughs> and he'll just uh. After he dies, a little spore will go into the ground, and a tiny little Hulk Hogan will sprout. Yes. And he'll be like, I'm Hulk Hogan too. 
I'll teach you a song. Brother. <laughs> Brother. What was that? Uh, when, when, when was that when um, uh, Randy Savage had like uh, little packets of cream? You mean those little pockets? Key, uh, creamers for coffee little yeah. cups? Well, he Did would, he do that a lot? Or? Yeah, in, in a lot of uh, promos, he would, on the way to the spot where you do your promo, mm -hmm. he would just steal stuff from like the office or the break area. <laughs> so sometimes he would have a cup, uh -huh. a cup or a garbage can, and say, this is where you belong. <laughs> and like the the garbage and uh the creamers and other no stuff wonder like he's that. popular. Yeah, you Holy just shit. do that crap and other things. I no, wish Goku no one thought did of. That. Yeah, <laughs> I wish Goku and Vegeta did that. Yeah. Because let's be honest, Dragon Ball Z was just wrestling. Yeah, it is. Like, <laughs> and like that. Uh, Really cracked me up when he uh, when he put the little the little creamer in that guy's yeah, pocket. Yeah, he put it in the announcer's pocket, uh, Gene's pocket, uh -huh. and then and then he, he, he low took key, it back. Yeah, he, he low key took it back. Took it back. I need it for another joke. Hold on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am the cream. Yes. Uh, did it with a cup, a garbage can, creamers for coffee, it's something else. What do? Huh. Wait, did I pin somebody or? I think I did. It was Hulk Hogan. No, no, I didn't. Hulk Hogan, I think, was like the top draw. Ah, I did it. I did it. Great. He was the top draw. Hulk Hogan was most popular back in the day, and I think Randy Savage was like second ah. most popular. They were like the mega powers of wrestling. And they teamed up, and then they they broke up, and they were so angry at each other. You're going down, Hulk. Yeah. This is your last day in the business. Your health bar is really low right now, Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy what goes on in wrestling. Like, uh, just crazy shit where, like, like, uh, someone will come out of the audience and they're an actor, but they're in the audience and they'll come onto the stage. And then someone else will come up and, like, like point a fake gun at them or arrest them and shit and it's totally mm -hmm. crazy like when you actually watch it but all the matches are decided before like they're all it's like a plot like they write like this year's Wrestlemania and this year's matches are all written out to be dramatic uh -huh. like the how who wins it's for a maximum drama and uh because of that sometimes uh it would leak on the internet I remember in the early days of the internet. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they would actually leak who was going to win and ruin it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, it happened. I don't think, um, I don't think you'd be allowed to, like, bet money on, on wrestling matches. Well, I, unless I, we're I, you probably can't because it'd be just too doing easy it to, casually. It'd be too easy to go online and maybe leak it and figure it out who's going to win. Yeah. Plus, uh, they have mics too, eh? Yeah. There's they have microphones like underneath the stage, and when they lay on the when they lay on the floor of the stage, they can hear the microphones telling them what to do. <laughs> do you know that? Yeah. They actually have a mic there, and it will say like, "Do this, do that." Like we need this now. Uh -huh. Wrap it up and stuff like that, so that you can act it out and make it seem like it's actually like you're getting cues from mm -hmm. the guys backstage who are putting on the movie, the film of wrestling. Alright, let's just do a one-on-one, -on -one, see if we can win. Easy. Are you playing easy? Yeah, yeah. I'm playing easy. So, uh... Try Earthquake. Do you play him yet? Yeah, no, no. Okay, let's try Earthquake. see what's going on with him. He might be OP, or I might just suck. Look at all the bald acceptance in this game. Yeah. Bald positivity. I know, we're bald positive here. An equal opportunity employer at the <laughs> WWF. <laughs> Diversity is strength. Yes, that's right. 
That's why. Even the announcer's bald, look. Yeah. Bald. Being bald is okay. I'm here to say that bald is okay. Uh -huh. It's perfectly fine if you're bald. That's why the baldest, hoboist looking person is, uh, is the strongest. Yeah. These guys are massive to be that heavy and also that muscular at the same time. Like, uh, it didn't happen until, like, the, when was it, like, the 80s or 90s when, uh, bodybuilders, like, uh, competitive bodybuilders, started uh, competing at 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. They thought it was impossible for, like, since the beginning of bodybuilding, like, 50 years of it or whatever, since the silent era of bodybuilding. People, bodybuilders were thin, actually, because it was too hard to be big and fit, to be big and cut, basically. Oh, yeah. With your shape. Like, cut is when you can see sinew. Uh-huh. Right? Like, you don't drink water for, like, a week before you compete, and you can look sinuous. That's cut. But anyway, it was just thought to be, like, a mathematical impossibility to be 300 pounds and cut. Like, it shouldn't be possible. And then, I think it was Dorian Yates, the first guy who actually competed at 300 pounds, and they couldn't believe it. Like, it shouldn't even be possible. And now we got science, right? So people are unbelievably ginormous now, like, <laughs> insanity, what you see now. Uh -huh. Like, competing at, like, going on 400 pounds, cut muscle. Like, enormous muscle upon muscle where there shouldn't be muscles. Hell. I'm still losing. Unbelievable. Actually, it's pretty easy to believe, but it's, it's still there's, frustrating. There's so much you can do. There's so much gear you can be on that's legal, and not a steroid, it's insane. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, you're friggin' curb loading all day long, eating like five million heads of broccoli, and then go in there and eat five million pounds of broccoli in a week and eight million pounds of lean beef, and then swilling back uh, protein powder and uh, whey powder, and then going in there and getting a huge shot of insulin right into your friggin' gut. Just give me all the insulin. Got him. Because insulin, you put insulin in your body when you don't need it. Uh -huh. It uh, makes it so your muscles absorb more protein or something. It makes it so your body absorbs sugar and shit different. So you can you absorb more of the food you eat when you're on insulin. <laughs> it makes you bigger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's try hard mode. Oh, damn. We're getting extreme. We gotta, we gotta, uh, we gotta go hard. Typhoon and... and animal. We gotta we gotta grease up and bone down. Mm-hmm. Three hundred and eighty-four pounds. From Death Valley, three hundred and twenty eight pounds. Undertaker, he's just gonna straight up kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to actually murder you if you come any closer to me right now. Burn I'm me. the only I'm the only one who's allowed to take a knife. I'm the only one in wrestling who has actually killed someone outside of wrestling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> am I just a modified earthquake sprite? I think I am. Yeah, you probably are. Got to... mm. Oh, the clash of bone and sinew. Love it. <laughs> Gets me hard. Yeah. Gets me hot on the inside. Yeah, there should be a... What? Welcome to WWF. Yeah. How tough are you? What can you do? I always have an erection. <laughs> yeah. It's non-stop. So I'm going to look really funny in a Speedo. When I'm in fighting. They call me hard on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're okay, your name's gonna be Don Hurt on. Okay? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> my special ability is that I have uh tiny turrets that detach from my back 
and float around. Uh oh. And shoot bullets of bone. Whoa. People. It's all biological. <laughs> Every joint in my body is a double joint. <laughs> what? <laughs> Including my legs. My I knees actually, are double jointed. I actually have an extra joint in my arms. Oh my god. I can move them in three directions. Whoa. You're hired. <laughs> my hair looks retarded. And I wear a mask like I wear a mask like I'm uh from KISS. <laughs> oh Jesus, I'm getting dunked on. Damn it. Yeah, that's hard. Is this the only like ring in the game? Yeah. Yeah, you better believe it. What a bland game. There's not much in this. No, there really isn't. It, it's it's kind of... It's from that time where you could just make a game that has... You know, player versus computer. And, and people would, uh, wouldn't care. You could just play this. But yeah, that was... Uh, WWF something. It was a Super WrestleMania. Except for Super WrestleMania. Not Super Castlevania. Super WrestleMania. <laughs> Many mothers probably got confused by that. I bought you Super Castlevania 4. I thought you wanted that. No, I said WrestleMania. I, I thought you might want to try the first Super Castlevania first. Super so. WrestleMania. <laughs> 